We are the citizens of a great city. Some might call it the greatest city in the world. It's certainly better than that other city. You know the one I'm talking about. But who would take on the responsibility of protecting our wonderful city? Why, only a hero that could match its greatness. The Toilet Roll Sentry! He's a man's man. Such manliness. That he looked up masculine in the dictionary. It would show a picture of the sperm that spawned him. Taken by some sort of microscopic, time-traveling camera. Snuck into the bedroom of his parents who were passionately making love. Nine months before his birth. And he's a ladies' man, and no girl can resist his charms. Heck, if I swung that way, I'd certainly hit it. But I'm not. Seriously. I played football in high school, dammit. I was constantly surrounded by cheerleaders, who were all very hot. I still have their numbers, even! The toilet roll sentry is loved by everyone. Man, woman, child, dog, cat, crazy deformed war veteran, and ballerina hippo. Everyone. Except. Oh no, some nefarious ne'er do well has robbed the bank. Hold on a second. Could it be? Yes, it is. No criminal can escape the toilet roll sentry, especially one who probably pees on other people's cars. Sometimes it may seem like villainy has the upper hand in the tug of war of life. But in the end, justice will always prevail. Like an eagle genetically altered to carry a machine gun, shooting down a crippled antelope. And so the villain has been captured. Don't worry folks, he'll be safely behind bars for quite a few years. Then he'll be secretly taken by a foreign militia and forced into slave labor. Eventually, he'll be ground into a paste and turned into food for the dictator's pet goat. A delicious and nutritious snack. Mmm, that's yummy. No one truly knows where the toilet roll sentry came from. Some believe he was trained in the Himalayas, secretly fighting demon-possessed Sherpas, who were all on fire at the same time. Others believe the toilet roll sentry was born from a star and embodies all of its properties. A gaseous ball hurtling around in space. Or maybe he was simply a child, born in this great city, and raised by two normal parents, and living a full life, and also on weekends, being a transvestite named Vicky from ages 13 to 17. In the end, though, we know that with your help, we can wipe clean the criminal element of our great city. You remember our great city, right? It's pretty damn great. Anyway, God bless you, Toilet Rose Entry. God bless you.